Hello everyone. My name is Harshit Bhutra and you're watching Digital Sun City. On this channel, I make videos related to WordPress and digital marketing. So, if you want to learn more of WordPress and digital marketing, then you can press the subscribe button below. That way, you'll be notified as soon as I publish a new video. So now, let's get started with this video. In this video, you will learn how to save entries from WP Forms to Google Sheets. For this functionality to work, you will require WP Forms Pro or the above plan of WP Forms. I have shared my affiliate link in the description, you can get it from there. So first, we need to create a form. To do that, hover onto WP Forms and click on Add New. Now select the template as per your requirements. You can customize the fields here as per your requirements. Now the second step is that we need to connect WP Forms to an uncanny automator which will then connect Google Sheet to WP Forms. The pro version of WP Forms provides direct integration with uncanny automator. This plugin works as a connector between WordPress plugins and other third party apps and due to this we can directly access the Uncanny Automator tool from WP Forms itself. We do not need to install a plugin separately for this. You will find the tool under Marketing. We now need to click on Install Now to install this automator. Once done, click on Save and Refresh. Moving to the third step. We need to create and set up the Google Sheet. Edit the name of the spreadsheet as per your requirement. Now we need to set up our spreadsheet to match the fields in the WordPress form. As my form has three fields, name, email and comment or message. So our spreadsheet will be set up in the same way. Customize the sheet styling as per your choice. Now the fourth step is that we need to connect the uncanny automator to our Google account. To do that, hover on to automator and click on settings. Now from the various tabs, click on Google over here. Click on create an account. Select your Google account from here. You can see the success message here which says your application connected successfully. The next step is we now need to connect WP forms to Google Sheet. To do so, click on add new under automator. We need to create a recipe first. From the box, select the type of recipe. In most cases, you should choose everyone because anonymous website visitors will be the ones filling out your contact forms, registration forms, newsletter forms, etc. So select everyone and then click the confirm button. Here give your recipe a title. After that select the trigger, select WP forms from here, select from the two options here. If you select the option, the form is submitted then it will add all WP forms submissions to a specific spreadsheet in Google Sheets. And if you select a form is submitted with a specific value in a specific field then it will only add submissions if they meet the criteria. For this tutorial, I will select the first option. The next step is to select the specific form on your website that you want to connect with Google Sheets. Once done, click on the save button. Now it's time to add action. When clicked you can see Uncanny Automator which provides us with various available integrations. We will select Google Sheets from the list. Now select create a row in Google Sheets. You can see the drive gets connected, select the spreadsheet that we created earlier in this video. Select your worksheet as well from here. 
Once you've selected your spreadsheet and worksheet, click the Get Columns button. You can see the columns have been fetched here from the sheet. Now to add values, we need to insert the corresponding WP form fields from this drop down menu like this. Once done, click on the save button. Now to publish this automation, simply switch this button. Now it's time to test the process. To do so, let's preview the form. Let me make a test entry here. Once the form is submitted, let's move to the Google Sheet. You can see the form entry here. So this was all about how to save entries from WP Forms to Google Sheets in WordPress. I hope you liked this video. It takes me a lot of efforts to create free videos like these for all of you people. So please consider to subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then you can directly go to our website digitalsuncity.com slash help and then fill in the contact form with your questions. I'll reply to that as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. Hey, before you quit, I have an amazing offer for you. I am giving away free access to all of my digital resources to all of my viewers. These digital resources can be divided in two types. The first thing is layouts. This includes hundreds of templates for Divi, Elementor, Visual Composer and a lot of royalty free graphics which you can use on any website. Now the second thing is premium WordPress video tutorials. In the coming weeks, I am creating video courses for all the major WordPress themes and plugins. This will include video tutorials for WordPress, Divi, Astra, Elementor, Visual Composer and lot more. So as you can see, I have already started working on them. Now to get all of these premium digital resources, you have to go to my website digitalsuncity.com slash VIP and put in your email address. And then you'll receive an email which will contain all of these things. That's it. So go to the link in the description right now and claim all of these resources instantly. I am waiting for you to get my digital resources for free.